I made my first film in 1935. I was 14 years old. Then came the problem, though, of especially of sound. And so it wasn't until the 1960s we were able to make equipment that would make it possible to observe, to just watch and listen without interfering very much. My best movies have never been shown on television. We made, when I worked with Penny Baker, we made Monterey Pop. It's a wonder, the first of the pop films with Otis Redding and everybody, Janis Joplin, everybody was in it, Ravi Shankar. And it was made for television. And when they looked at it, the head of the network, ABC, said that it did not meet industry standards. They refused to accept it. So we put it in theaters. It was the best thing that ever happened to us. I made my living mostly from teaching, which is crazy, but it's very nice. Films that we made then about Kennedy, for instance, Crisis. The New York Times attacked that film, said it was, everybody was acting, blah, blah, blah. 30 years later, they say it's a masterpiece. And then it wasn't until 1988 that I started to take video seriously. And again, I loved it. It gave me freedom. I could, I didn't want to go always with a purpose. I wanted to be able to carry a camera with me and when something happened, to watch it, to be part of it. We can make long, long films that take, you know, that'll take you maybe days to read, like, or to look at. You don't write books to be written in one sitting. Um, this is possible now, and I think it's going to change everything. I think it's going to change for the better. There'll be tons and tons of junk. The internet at the moment doesn't interest me because it's, it's like a dung heap. It's huge. It's too much junk. Um, I want to go small. And I think this is going to be a very exciting period. And I'm very happy with it. It's my dream come true. Theatre for me is essentially illusion. And I think the same is true of cinema. I think films that pretend to be real are a little bit silly. My favorite playwright is Aristophanes. And in Aristophanes, it's perfectly normal to fly to heaven on the back of a dung beetle. The trouble with the Hollywood use of special effects is they ask you to believe it. And documentary, what is a... Documentary for me, just for me, is I like to observe. I've spent my life, and I don't mean anything scientific about that. I love beautiful women. I love beautiful places. I love the way people react with each other. I love the mystery of reactions. And I don't want to tell people what to do. I would rather just watch and listen and capture wonderful things. And, and then I love editing and put together uh, a feeling of being there.